In this podcasting tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to exclude a podcast episode that you have published from being published in your RSS feed into Apple Podcasts, into Spotify, Google Podcasts, and of course, any other podcast directory on the planet. Now, the use case for this is that perhaps you want to create an episode that is part of your natural flow. But perhaps you only want to be able to embed this on websites. This is a rather common idea that many podcasters want to do when they're working with sponsors or partners, or indeed if they're promoting their own products, services, or just extra content that they only want to make available using an embeddable player on the website. So the method that I'm going to show you right now will allow you to ensure that your episode will not be in your RSS feed and it will not be in Apple Podcasts and the rest of the podcast directories. You will only be able to embed this using the Captivate Embeddable Podcast Player on your website. You'll see that I've already published a bonus episode called Test Episode for Exclusion. It's published as a normal episode and if I switch over to the RSS feed, you will see that this test episode for exclusion is in the RSS feed. So at this point, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, and so on, they will all be receiving that episode. And of course, your listeners will receive that in the podcast apps that they use to listen to your show. However, if we want to make this available exclusively via a podcast player embed using the Captivate Embeddable Player, we can very easily do that. And we can do this either by editing the episode, but of course it's available when you publish a new episode as well. So what I'm going to do here is edit this bonus episode. And down here on the left-hand side, like I said, this is available when you publish a new episode as well. If I click Advanced Options, I'm just going to quickly check this box, exclude this episode from feed, and then I'm going to go ahead and update the episode and what will happen is that you'll see here in the Captivate episodes listing that we have this little icon now. And it will tell you if you hover over it, this episode will not display in your RSS feed. Thus, it will not appear in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, or the rest of the directories. And sure enough, if I flick over to the RSS feed and refresh it, you will see that that test episode for exclusion has been removed. And that is how you create... A podcast episode that doesn't appear in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, or your RSS feed. If you need anything, if you have any questions, let us know in the comments here on the tutorial. Or if you're viewing this video within a Captivate blog post or within the Captivate help section, please reach out to our 24-7 support staff and we will always be there to help.